The water doesn't need to be very deep, nor the current very strong. Only enough for the small rotor blade to float free in the water. Its inventors say Blue Freedom is the world's smallest hydroelectric power plant. It takes just minutes to assemble. Once placed into moving water, the turbine transfers the energy to a mini-generator in the shape of a ring. The ring then just needs to be secured on a stick nearby. The electricity is stored in batteries. It certainly looks easy enough. It is easy. You just need a stick and you're away. And there you have your mini hydro power plant. The advantage is that you can take it anywhere. Anytime I need electricity, I get out my blue freedom and generate whatever I need. With a river it's very easy, because the density of the water is a thousand times greater than that of air. So you can keep the equipment really small and still have immense power. That's the beauty of it. The idea comes from the German state of Bavaria and isn't only popular with hikers and fans of the great outdoors. To date, Rolf Hoffmann and his business partner have sold more than a thousand of these packs. Now they've teamed up with an electronics firm just outside Munich to begin small-scale series production. They're currently producing the first circuit boards. Word of the new invention has already spread. The company's received requests from India to Africa. The invention is particularly of interest in areas where many people don't have access to the power grid, but still need to charge mobile phones and laptops. Many of these people use their car batteries to charge up their phones, or diesel generators, or sometimes solar power cells. So, a little hydropower device like this is great. We could give this to anyone and they'd be able to charge all their devices. So, it's important for developing and emerging economies. But the price is a much bigger issue there than here. These are orders involving many tens of thousands of units, so every cent makes a difference. That's the challenge with this product. Right now, the Blue Freedom costs nearly 300 euros. But with larger scale production, that price will go down. The two inventors are also working on larger models capable of generating up to 500 watts, enough to supply an entire village. Our idea is that by providing a continuous power supply, we can provide lighting, facilitate education and also jobs. Maybe with a sawmill, for example, or sewing machines. The first customer who came to us was from Sudan. We've since had a meeting with the Sudanese ambassador. They urgently wanted hydropower plants from us for three communities. Normally, wherever people live, there's water. And for producing electricity, it doesn't even need to be clean water. This is a model of a larger power plant, also designed to fit in a river. The inventors say its rotary paddles will produce energy without making a sound or posing a hazard to wildlife or the environment. Because it turns very slowly, it's actually like a playground for fish. They come along, take a look, swim back and forth, overtake the paddles. So for them it's like a fun park. There's no acceleration or risk of the fish being sucked in. It works purely by kinetic energy, so it's great for fish to play on. Currently only the smaller Blue Freedom is on sale. After an hour in the water, it's ready to charge up that mobile phone.